but hey, well, you know, all the shows, Nick, Nick, Nino Brown would have never fell for that. Nino Brown was pouring, pouring champagne on him. Be like, man, be like, man. Yeah, Marlo, gotta be like, Marlo. Man, like Marlo, bro, this nigga over here sleeping in the in the crib and working at the, at the next thing you know, she go, she gonna fuck around and walk into the room where the, where, where the millions is at. Yeah, she gonna know where the money at, bro. She's gonna know where the money is. That's too then it's too late then once she know where the money is. Too late, bro. They're gonna come in one day, they're gonna clean, be cleaned out. Man, he gonna be hurt. Can't buy no dope, he's gonna be hurt. Hurt, bro. And then Reed gonna be like, hey bro. With my money. With my money at. You see what I did to Ivy, right? Fucking yeah. around with my money. I need my see? money. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's just like, man, that, that whole that whole dynamic with them two is just like, where's where's that gonna go? You know what I'm saying? Cause they did have to give him a love interest though, cause you know what I'm saying, uh with with, with old girl you know, dipping Mel, out. Mel, yeah. with male dipping out and stuff like that. But I think what now I think you think Wanda gonna get clean? You think Wanda gonna get clean? Yeah, she gonna well, she gonna have to get clean because she's gonna be in the hospital, right? So that you know they gonna you gonna get clean. And I think uh, I think what's gonna happen is she gonna get clean, right? She gonna get clean, clean, cleaner, and then male gonna come back. And male gonna be clean. So then, then she really gonna try to get back. You know, male probably help her out to get the uh and then they be clean. Then they try to tear him down, try to tear Franklin down. Then she'll try to tear Franklin down. Try to tear Franklin down. Nigga, that nigga Jerome. She might work with the uh work with the reporter later. Fuck around, start working with the reporter later. Start yep. telling them stories, start telling them stories. All yep. right. That nigga Jerome, if I was Jerome, I'd been up out of there. I'd have took Louis. Where hey, we gone? Where you going? That nigga, hey, you better go put some music in in Texas or some shit. <laughs> he better open up put some speakers in, in Texas, bro. Like you, hey, every time you see, every time they show Jerome, he got that look on his face, like, man, these niggas, man. You know, every time. He like, I want to be done with this so bad. He want to be done with it so bad. He like, man, won't you just tell Reed, we to take less from Reed. Man, I don't want to get back to selling speakers, man. I want to get back to Yeah. Work. Nigga want to get back to making cameos and commercials and shit with this Jerry Curl and shit. Nah, bro. That nigga, hey, Jerome, hey, Jerome need to get up out of there. Cause Jerome, hey, Jerome might be the nigga that get killed, bro. Yeah, bro, cause he ain't, he ain't about that life no more, bro. It ain't got too he big. It ain't got it ain't got too big for him. Like his auntie, she all in, but for him, it ain't got yeah. too big for him, then, bro. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't no more built for it no more. Like he was built for that little sell a couple of grams, you know, sell a couple ounces at the house. Yeah, the house, you know what I'm saying? Did a little biz in him. And he cooked for his old lady. She had they dance around. He lifted. Yeah, the- yeah. That, see and that coke game. His body starting to drop. Man, he had to put the head. He had to put that boy head on flat. He seen that, he was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Are you done? Hell no. Nah. Like you said, I want to go back to the days when I'm out there listening to Mo Bounce to the Ounce, <laughs> my apron on, dancing and shit outside. You know, nah, he want to go back to them days, bro. You know what I mean? He got, hey, hey he, can't, he, he can't do that now. Man, you start messing with that coat, bro. That, the, the life expectancy gets short, bro. Gets short, bro. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, he was dropping. Uh, dope fiends coming around, breaking into the breaking into the speaker store and everything. <laughs> like, hey, he like, look, man, I can't deal with this no more. Yeah, man. So, man, that, that, the whole Leon thing, it, it, it really, it's. I think it's a really pivotal point in the show, man. Like, what's gonna happen? Like, is, is Leon gonna die? Who finna die? Like, so like you said, somebody gotta die. You know, man. We can't just keep going season after season yeah. with the same people and, and and all this dope being slung and shooting going on and nobody die. That's important. That's close to him. Somebody close to him has to die at this point. He might give Leon up. Now I'm thinking about it. Because Leon said, I ain't buying dope from you. Leon told him, get the fuck out of here. And how Franklin is? Franklin might be like, man, fuck you. Oh, bro, I think they, I don't think Franklin gonna let him go. They partners, bro. And, and I hope yeah. he don't. In a way, he still, because, you know, if he were done with if he were done with him, when one got shot, he wouldn't have came to the hospital if he was completely done with him. Think about it. Like if I'm, if I'm, we, if you shut down a business, you don't want to be partnered with me. You don't want to do nothing. You don't have nothing to do with me. Then your 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 old lady gets shot, or you get, you know, what I'm saying you get you get you get like a, a assass- try to get assassinated. They try to assassinate you. You know, right. put a hit on you. They miss. Like what I'm showing up for? Like you know, they show right, he trying to because he, he trying to get Leon back on the team. He's trying to get Leon back on the team. Leon stop buying dope. You know what I mean? It's two, you know what I mean? That's two things right there that that's gonna uh uh help Franklin out. I get I get Leon back on my I get I get my my hitter I can trust back on the team and he buying dope for me again. So more of a business move, more of a business move, anything. You no, know Franklin is he all about the business, right? 
business. All about the business. So it's like, so then, and then if Scully be like, you know, bring me, like you said, if he said, bring me Leon, he's, he's scared of Scully. He might be like, man, shit. Here you go. You might get him Leon, and he still might come after him, though, dog. True, true, true. He might. But get- Franklin might try it, though. Franklin might be like, all right, man. All right, get your ass. So he's trying to put the gun to his face. Get up, nigga. We taking you to uh, taking you to Leon. I mean, uh, taking you to uh, Scully. 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 Scully might do it like he like 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 the nigga Clovell did him. Was about to do it. Remember Clovell season one? Had the boy in the room. Oh yeah. Hey, been. <laughs> you want <aren't> going? <laughs> they want going. They want. like nigga. Man. Hey, we ain't going back there. Not with Clovell. Clovell. Hey, Clovell. Uh, he go. He go give you that work. <laughs> They was over the front skate. They were like, oh, what's going they on? Like, man, they was like, I thought that nigga was going to beat him up or something. This nigga, <laughs> bruh, what is this nigga doing back here? They ran with him, boy. Ran with him, see? Hey. hey they give him up to Scully. Scully put that shit in his ear next day. You know, he had Leon with his afro bent over working that nigga. <laughs> hey, Scully put the, I don't know. I ain't never seen nobody put in the ear like that. He's like, man, what did you do? You doing it right now? Bro, I'm like, I still think like, what is that, bro? Acid, bro? Like, what? what? Bro, I won't put nothing in my ear. Bro, nothing in my ear, bro. I hate when I be getting water in my ear, bro. Da, da, da. <laughs> and it, I'm like, man, and his ear stopped up. Like, what did he do? Yeah. Like, he like, man, man. He like, I'm trying to get straight to the brain the fastest way. That nigga put that thing in the ear. He's what he say, help me focus. I was like, ah, oh, hell no, nah, dude. <laughs> hey, he look, he really, he, he the person, 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 per, he the perfect person to play that role, bro. Hey, that's Stacy, nigga. That's Stacy from the wood, boy. Bro, he's still like he in Stacy mode too, bro. Bro, Stacy mode. All hey, he went from the Jerry Crow to the straight slick back with the same lift of hair. He just slicked that shit right back. Man, like he, them old niggas do. He might be that person in real life, man. He played that role too good. Too good, bro. Yeah, too good, bro. Man, man, you crying back there? Get in the, <laughs> get in the back seat. Yeah, little homie got more heart than you, man. <laughs> you heard what I said? Uh, Next seat. That's hey, I ain't gonna lie. I like uh I like I like Scully. Scully be having me rolling. I mean man boy funny too, but man boy think he think he cool and shit. But but Scully, that nigga be having me rolling when he be talking, man. When he was like, when he's like, nigga, I ain't sticking no motherfucking banana in no tailpipe, nigga. That shit don't work. <laughs> Shut your ass. Hey, that nigga had me crying, bro. Like this nigga crazy. <laughs> they they only uh, uh 40 hours talking about the banana. Yeah. I'm like, what, what, what? I want. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, was it the movie? Had the movie just come out or what? Yeah, because that was uh, what was it? That was Beverly Hills Cop, wasn't it? Beverly Cop. That's what it was. Beverly Hills. Yeah, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, he. Beverly Hills Cop. There ain't nobody sticking no motherfucking bread. <laughs> Shut that shit up, nigga. That, that nigga had me crying, bro. Like, I was surprised to see them out like eating like that. You know what I'm saying? A walk on the street. They out there just eating on the bench in the on the patio. Like, bro, y'all ch- y'all got the war going on. What you doing out here? Yeah, I was I was I was surprised about that too. I was surprised, especially after you went and hit, like you said, did the drive by. Yeah, caught the caught the caught the dude called Leon in the same type of spot at a little outside yeah. burger stand, a taco stand, like you said, you know. Yeah, and they just out there chilling like that, like bro, anybody can roll up on you and put the put their hammers on you. Man, I'm like man, yeah, it's it's man, it's crazy, man. I'm glad I'm glad I do. You know, I think. Um, most of the time, you know, this day and age, we'd be like, man, give us the, uh, give us the, um, give us the whole season at one time so we can binge watch. But I do think it's good that they, they, they making us week by week. Yeah. I like, uh, sometimes I, with some certain shows, I, I kind of like the, 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 the programming, the, the programming TV, you know what I'm saying? The schedule programming TV. Well, it gives yeah. like, kind of breathe through. Cause sometimes you just get a show and you just binge it all the way through and then it'd be over and you're like, man, now what? And they don't give it the opportunity yeah. for us to talk about this because I might have been on a further episode than you and you can't really talk. Right. About and then you miss stuff. You miss stuff because, because you still, you, you go, yeah, you go straight to the next one and you like, you miss the little nuances, the little things that go on, you know what I mean? And yeah. then, you know, when they do it, like you said, schedule programming, you know what I mean? It, it, you, you think about it, like the whole show, like, damn, oh, I didn't even see, or like you say, you talk to, you talk to each other, like, oh, I didn't even see it like that, you feel, you know what I mean? So, 
Yep. Yeah. So I, I I enjoy, especially with a show like this. I really enjoy, it, man. I really enjoy the type of show, man. And so, man, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, definitely it's gonna continue to get dope, man. And I think we're gonna get probably ten episodes. I hope we get ten episodes for this, and man, a couple of more weeks of this talk, man. It's gonna be good, man. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, man. I know. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, man. Wallace, give us shout shout out your Instagrams and all your handles and stuff like that, man. You know William Walls, man. William underscore Walls. Uh, Instagram, man, holla at me, man. I'll be on there. I'll be on there putting out uh not too much of nothing, but talk to me. I talk back, man. We can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. But yeah, William Walls on uh on Instagram, man. I'm gonna be out there. Uh, I, I should I should get my British accent. Maybe the niggas, maybe somebody, maybe the niggas are hiring me, man. They say all the seem like all the leading black bros need to if you ain't if you ain't from Britain or England or some shit, you can't get a role or nothing, man. I would have been the only thing they only, only black person getting something Michael B. Jordan and it's like also one of what they rocking with right now. So, you know, it's kind of crazy how, how things is you don't realize who these people who these people oh man, these who these people origins are and they right. they, 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 they natural dialect and you realize you guys from these other countries like man what I did not expect that. But yeah, the leading actor Frank saying he from he from uh, across the pond and he can switch the accent on and off. He kind of got his got his coaching comp about uh, dub C. So it's kind of true. Love. Think the things that you that you hear from like after the show and outside of the show so man with that man i want to say I thank you guys for listening as always collaboration over competition this is your boy frank nitty i'm out i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you'd like to grab some merch canvas prints for your home or office or see the full link video from this episode please visit dovision.com follow me on instagram facebook and twitter at dovision itself also send me an email of someone you'd like to hear on the podcast at dovision itself at gmail.com also, please join the Dovision Club at patreon.com forward slash Dovision for early access to the content and some of the behind the scenes look of some of the episodes that I create. While you're listening, don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button and comment on the podcast as well as my YouTube channel and turn on those post notifications so that you'll be notified each and every time I drop a new episode. Thanks for listening. And remember, collaboration over competition. Until next time, this is your boy Frank Nitty and I'm out.